Good morning. It is Monday morning. Um, I thought I would take you along with me for the day. Um, it is almost 9.30 in the morning. Uh, we're getting kind of a slow start this morning. I am in the process of doing a big batch of Swedish pancakes for the kids. It lasts us not only today, but at least, I want to say, three or four more days. So I like to do it at least once a week um, just to have easy, quick um, breakfast meals for a number of days. Um, but it does take a decent amount of time for me to do it on the morning I actually cook them. Um, so I'm in the process of doing that. And then, but first I need to run upstairs. I am also in the process of switching out clothes for two of my daughters to the next size up. So I want to rush up there really fast and switch some of their clothes so that they aren't putting on the smaller sizes this morning. Um, I want to get them in the right sizes so I can switch it out after I'm done with the pancakes. Alright, so this is for my three-year-old, almost four-year-old daughter. These are her clothes, and so I'm going to be removing these and then getting um, size 5T in here, because these are actually size 4T. Um, she is almost the same size as my five, almost six-year-old daughter. So the five, almost six-year-old daughter's clothes are coming in here, and then I'm getting six, size 6 clothes for my five-year-old out. So this is what remains uh, after getting all of that out of the closet. Um, so I normally store all of her jeans and pants, and she's right there, uh, down in this tub. Easy access for her. And then um, dresses are over here on the left, and then back there are jackets on the other side of the closet. And her shirts were here. All these shirts and dresses that remain are ones that I think she can still fit into. The main problem with her clothes were um, her shirts were just getting really short on her and some of her jeans and pants as well. So that's the main thing I'm switching out. These are pants, this pile right here are pants that I think um, she can still use. And we are going camping in about a month and a half. And so I just want to make sure that I have plenty of um, clothes that she, if, in case we needed any extra jeans or anything for while we're camping. So I'm not getting rid of this pile. And then back here are actually boys' um, jeans that my girls wore. So I'm actually going to be saving those for our son when he needs those sizes. And then over in the, these drawers um, up here, oh, wrong one, down here, um, she has some skirts and some shorts. And she doesn't wear these very often, but I'm not going to be getting rid of these just yet because I think they still fit her. Um, for the most part, so in case she wants to wear any of those over the summer. And then down here, she has two drawers of pajamas. Um, and again, I don't think I'm going to be going through these just now. Um, she can keep wearing those. Um, so it's mainly the shirts and the pants that we're switching out. So now on to the next daughter's clothes. This is the dresser that my five-year-old daughter's clothes are in. Um, up here, we have... Uh, bathing suits and rash guards. I don't even remember what's in that drawer. We obviously don't use it very much. I used to store bibs and um, diaper, cloth diapers in there as burp rags, um, but I believe I got rid of all those. This is what we call her special drawer, and it's anything that she has um, that she wants to keep. That's her place to put it, and so her clothes are actually in these three. Up here are all of her pants and jeans, this side is her pajamas, shorts, and skirts, which she doesn't really wear. And then down here are um, her uh, shirts and then underwear and socks go down here. So everything's easy access there. And then in the closet here, this side with the blue tabs on them, all of those hangers have any dresses she might like. She isn't a big fan of dresses, so there aren't very many. And then up here are um, the blue tabs again are her jackets. All the green tops are for my seven-year-old daughter, who is right here. So these are her shirts that I'm going to be switching out. Um, they're a big mess right now, so I'm going to switch those out, as well as these pants and jeans. All right, I'm back to the pancakes now, finally. Um, so I'm going to get these cooking over here and get through them as fast as I can. I have a double batch right here and a single batch over here. I just use my two largest bowls um, to do as much as I can. So I'm going to get cracking on that. All right, finally got the first ones done.
My kids did eat <laughs> some cereal before this, so they're not starving. But I just realized that I have not <laughs> actually eaten anything. I had some hot lemon water with some lemon because whew, running low. Um, I haven't. All last week I was not feeling well. Um, sore throat, and I'm feeling a lot better, but sore throat has not completely gone away. So I was trying to help that. I can't pour one-handed, so just sec. Okay, there they are, cooking away again. Um, these are pancakes that my dad used to make for us every Sunday morning, and his mom used to make them every Saturday morning um, growing up. And it wasn't until, I'd say, the last month or two that I actually started doing this for my kids. Um, it just... I finally got the courage to start it up. My parents gave us that pan for a Christmas present a while ago. Um, so I've had it for a long time and then I started making them more recently. And um, it was taking a long time with one pan and so they actually had an extra one um, that they weren't using anymore. So now I have two pans. So it goes a lot faster making these in the morning. Um, so the kids love them as well do I. And I need to flip them now. There they are flipped again. I am by no means an expert. I know I don't do them <laughs> probably as you're supposed to and they're probably thicker than they're supposed to be but it's all a learning process so I'm working on it and my kids like them still so that's what counts. So I'm still working on pancakes and it's almost 11 o'clock right? Yeah it's getting close to 11 but it hasn't been consistent and we've I've had interruptions but I wanted to um, switch some laundry. I worked on a lot of laundry yesterday but have some more loads I'm trying to get done today as well. So let me get that going. It's a little after 11, and there's our final stack of pancakes. And somebody wants me to open a puzzle bag for him. I think those are too small for you. Yeah. So I'm going to let these cool off before I store them in the fridge. And while I'm waiting for that, I think I'm going to go switch more of those clothes. Can say hi? Hi? And here's the after for my three almost four year old daughter's closet. So some of the clothes <laughs> stayed the same because they were actually the right size for her or um, they were longer, which is what we were needing. Um, but most of them came from my five year old. So a little better organized too. Now back to the five year olds. So this is what's left in her pants drawer. That was actually a size six. Don't know why that was in there, but it was. So that's staying. And then a little nicer organized down here. Her shirts, underwear, and socks. Um, she actually has a number of shirts that she, I have a little helper here, is keeping. Um, they're either, they, her clothes actually still fit her mostly, so um, it was just, oh yeah. So I was saying, um, my five-year-old, her clothes actually still fit her fairly well. Um, it was more so my three-year-old that needed the clothes, so if there were shirts that um, my five-year-old really still enjoyed, I wanted to let her keep those, so that's why she has some of those shirts still. And some of them are actually fairly big for her because um, they were like a medium size, but they were something special we got from somewhere. So she's keeping those as well. Yeah. What are you doing? That's him wanting to nurse. That's Nana means nurse to him. Huh? Yeah. Is it getting time? It's almost lunchtime, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me show you what we are putting into her drawers. So this big box right here is full of six, size six clothes, and that's what we are going to be putting into her drawers. And then down here, I had purchased a little while back from Target the um, Cat and Jack brand um, leggings, or we call them pants. Um, my kids prefer, I've got some little toes there for you too. We prefer those pants. My kids prefer yeah. pants over jeans any day of the week, practically. So I picked up some new ones specifically for when 
we um, switched out clothes next um, so they could have some without holes in the knees because they just go through them. And these ones are supposed to be have more of a reinforced reinforced knee in them. So I hope they last longer. So she has some new varieties and she's excited about these sparkly blue ones. So those are going in her drawers as well. I keep all of the clothes that they're going to be growing into. Excuse me, Landon. Beep, 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 beep. Thank you. In their closet up high here. So that's normally where that box fit, but I actually haven't had it up there for a little while because it was just overflowing and so it wouldn't fit anymore. But those are additional size clothes. We have so many clothes for them. Not because we have actually purchased the clothes. We have received a ton of hand-me-downs, um, mostly just from one family, actually. They have two older well, two girls, and their youngest girl is about a year older than our oldest. So once they're done with their clothes, they've just been passing them on to us, which has been wonderful. Um, I feel like we have a little bit too many clothes for them, to be honest. I feel like they kind of just go through them, and I end up doing a lot of laundry. However, I figure by the time they get down to Shiloh, my third daughter, that... Um, we won't have as many because some of them will already be worn through after going through two other girls and then two more girls in my family. So four girls in total before they even get to her. So um, I'm really thankful for them. The most clothes we purchased for them are probably um, underwear and socks and then some extra jeans just because um, when we do go camping, I like to have a pair of jeans for them every day just to protect their legs and keep them warm in the evening hours. Um, so I'm going to get these clothes from this box into her drawers and then go to some lunch for my little baby so he can go take a nap. So this is what it looks like. It'll stay organized for a little bit. Um, thought I'd try to put all the jeans in the back and all the pants in the front because that is what she prefers to wear. We only have them wear jeans when they go to play outside just to protect their legs and knees. And then also, like I said, when we go camping, I went ahead and switched out the pajamas after all. Um, so I have that pile to go put in with my three-year-old stuff um, just because it was all in the box and that way I don't have to think about it later. And then I just put the larger size shorts underneath her, um, the size five ones, because I'm fairly certain she still fits, fits into those just fine. And they don't wear shorts very often at all anyways. And then here are, here's her shirts, underwear, socks. I put all her long sleeve shirts in the back there. Um, they'll probably all get mixed up again anyways, but just to start, <laughs> that's how it's going to be. Um, and then I got all the tags off of the pants and put those in the laundry basket so that they can get washed. You little stinker. You trying to mess with my tripod? Yeah? Let's go get you some food. And you too. Are you hungry? All right. So we did some lunch. I got the baby down for a nap. I switched some laundry, gathered the trash around the house to be ready to be taken down to the street for the week. Um picked up a little bit. I feel like I've done a variety of things. <laughs> I sat down for a little bit <laughs> and ate myself. Um, I just boiled some more water so I could have some more hot lemon honey water. And while that's cooling off, I thought I would throw together some overnight oats to have ready for myself for the rest of the week.
Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my hot lemon honey water, and edit a video. And then I have <clears throat> this table behind me to tackle. Um, yeah, it's kind of my workstation table, and it blew up over the weekend. Plus, with me being sick all last week, there was just no avoiding it getting messy. So, um, those are my next next tasks that I'm going to tackle. Mm -hmm.